Hey there everybody. I've been asked if there's gonna be any more mining character videos, and although I pretty much finished my goal of getting to the retriever in 14 days, I wanted to make an update on the yields after all the skill training is done. That is, after I was able to equip everything I recommended at the end of the last video. So these are the potential yields you can get with the retriever after you start maximizing your skills. I will show you the fit at the end and explain everything about it. But first things first, I try using just the regular Strip Miner 1 with the mining skill maximized at level 5. The only difference between this fit and the one that I showed in the previous video is that I'm using Tech 2 mining upgrades. You will notice right away that the ore hold capacity of the retriever has been increased by 2200 cubic meters up to 25,300. That is because of the mining barge skill at level 4. Similarly, the mining strip yield has also been increased. The regular Tech 1 strip miners are now at 1311 cubic meters per 169 seconds. To make it a little bit easier to understand, in the last video my yield was 765 cubic meters per minute. And now with Tech 1 strip miners and my mining skill at level 5, I was at 930 cubic meters per minute. And that's a sizable difference. But the whole point of training up the skills is to be able to use the best equipment possible. And that means upgrading to Tech 2 modulated strip miners. These strip miners rely on crystals, which once again come in Tech 1 and Tech 2 variety. Just keep in mind that you have to use crystals with Tech 2 strip miners. They will work without them, but the yield will be worse than Tech 1 strip miners. In this case, I'm mining Peroxeries and I'm using Tech 1 Peroxeries crystal. And the yield that I'm getting is 1420 cubic meters per cycle. And that translates into 1007 cubic meters per minute. And that's a bit of an improvement over just Tech 1 strip miners. Finally, after I was able to train up all the skills needed to be able to equip the Tech 2 mining crystal for Pyroxeries, I was getting the yield of 1530 cubic meters per cycle. And that translates roughly into 1085 cubic meters per minute. The law of diminishing returns kicks in, so I'm not getting much of a yield improvement. But it's still a marked improvement over the yield that I left with in the last video, and overall a very good improvement over these Tech 1 strip miners. But keep in mind that these numbers are per minute, so the more you mine, the more the differences add up. Overall, using the best case scenario, with Tech 2 crystals and strip miners, it should take you about 23 minutes to fill up the cargo hold of the retriever, all 25,300 cubic meters of it. And that should translate into a very nice payout, granted your ore is going for a good price in the market. So with the yield numbers out of the way, let's take a look at the fit. So the fit is a little bit tricky because when you're fitting the mining upgrades, you will have a bit of a problem with the CPU availability. So right now I have three mining laser upgrades tech 2, and they take up a lot of CPU. So what I have to do is to fit a special rig. You have to train a skill, but once you do, just fit the medium processor overclocking unit. That will boost up your CPU output by about 7% and will let you fit everything that you see here in the ship right now. Of course, instead of fitting the rig, if you don't want to do that, you can also train up skills such as CPU management, but that might take a little long in order to be able to fit everything in the ship. So I personally recommend a rig. It doesn't cost too much and the required skills do not take too long to train. Besides that, if you're curious about what else to train, you can look at the Mastery tab in order to see the skills that are recommended for Retriever. Another slight issue that you will see with this fit is a relative lack of capacitor. There's enough of capacitor juice to go around, but you will hear the alarm go off every time the two strip miners reactivate. So you shouldn't simultaneously run the afterburner and mine at the same time. Besides that, this ship is a great workhorse for mining career. I hope you enjoyed this little update on the mining character. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave a comment if you have any questions. I may do another update on what else could be done with a new mining character in the future. In the meantime, you can check out my video on mining rare ore or mining in low sec with adventure. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one.